Ali um, used the export to flex track feature that they've developed on the Pantera side. We've got our JSON file and we're going to jump into the flex track platform for the rest of this demo. But we'll assume I've already got a report in the platform started and we're going to navigate to findings to upload the file from Pantera. Um, within the flex track platform, we offer a lot of options to get findings into the platform. We're all about aggregating all of the data you need to effectively communicate in your report. So for this, we'll select from uh, the ability to add findings here. We have several options, the ability to create them manually. We also offer a write-ups database that you can develop and pull from. But for Pantera, we're going to go ahead and select from files. And we're going to identify that this is a Pantera file, which is custom to this export we've developed in partnership. And we're gonna upload our JSON file here. Now in the PlexTrack application at this point, we kind of take a brief pause and give you the opportunity to identify any tagging that you wanna associate with findings in this report. So this is going to associate any of the finding or asset tags you develop here with all of the um, data that you pull in from this file upload. For this demo today, though, I want to call out that we have in partnership with Pantera developed some auto tagging, which will be really helpful with the specific type of data coming from Pantera as a tool. So that auto tag will be either a tag for achievement or vulnerability so that you can navigate between those two types of findings in this report. Um, and and uh, tags can be leveraged throughout the entire platform as well. So very beneficial step. So we're getting a notification that our file is uploading. And if for any reason our file were pretty large, you would just get a notification up here at the bell that it's ready for you. Of course, in this example, that's not of a concern. So as we I just kind of want to orient you all to what you're seeing here on the screen, we're in our report, we've got our findings, we've just uploaded our file. You can see now all of these uh, findings have been populated. And I'm going to pull a, a finding up to show you a more detailed view. And I'm going to use the same example that Ali referenced earlier, this log for shell. So you can see in this integration, we're automatically populating the finding detail with the description, um, the title here, of course. And then the other area we partner very closely on is the custom severity scoring structure that Pantera has. So out of the box as these findings come into PlexTrack, we're making sure to set, for example, a 10 immediately to a critical in PlexTrack. Um, Ellie also called out the great um, customer mediation recommendations that come from Pantera, and those are being pulled into this finding detail here as well. And this goes a long ways towards the topic of our talk today, which is how do we communicate what needs to be done? So the PlexTrack um, platform does offer you the ability to enhance and expand upon this, but I think this is a really great start that we're able to populate this here. You'll also note that um, we have our tag I mentioned is shown here, and we always show the source. And the reason for showing the source is that um, we offer the opportunity to pull in findings from multiple sources to help you enrich your report um, as much as possible. So all of these findings will be tagged with a source of Pantera and our auto tags. And this is also where we would see any of the tags we chose to add, whatever works best for you and your team. One other feature I'm going to show off a little bit here in this finding detail is um, an optional feature in the PlexTrack platform, time to SLA. And I think this is really uh, relevant to our talk today as well, because we're focusing on how, how we get issues resolved and the time that it takes. You guys shared in your poll, the variance and the time that it's taking to uh, find vulnerabilities in, the, in this example from Pantera, um, and then get them resolved and communicated to the teams that can do the work. So speaking of uh, remediation, the first remediation tool that I'm going to call out in the Plex Track platform is the status tracker. And what we support in our product is uh, the ability to assign a finding to any user within the Plex Track platform. Um, so you can see I already have a very um, simplistic example of the timeline you're able to create 
when you're assigning and passing back and forth baby commentary about the status of a finding in the FlexTrack application. Now, um, when a user in FlexTrack is assigned to a finding, they'll be alerted to this when they log into the application on their dashboard. Or we also, also, uh, we also, <laughs> we optionally is what I was trying to say, have a feature you can choose to use, um, have some email notifications. So this uh, status tracker does a great job of working for teams if the team is all working in FlexTrack. Um, as we talked about today too, we mentioned communication silos. I know for many of you, um, the teams that you're working with to get the work done are not necessarily going to be working in FlexTrack and maybe working in tools like Jira or ServiceNow. And that's why um, the FlexTrack platform offers integrations with both Jira and ServiceNow. So if you're needing that ability to take this data, and in our example, we're talking about data coming from Pintera into FlexTrack, we can then push that data into a Jira ticket or ServiceNow issue if that's the way you need to communicate what needs to be done. So as a either a user is identified and sets a ticket to close, this finding will be marked as closed. Or if you push this to Jira or ServiceNow and that ticket or issue type is closed, that will come back into the system and um, through our API integration and update this given finding to be closed. One other note that I want to call out is that um, for many of you at this point in the cycle, you're going to need to export. So as I mentioned, the FlexTrack platform has a lot of great reporting tools to help you customize the way you communicate all of this data. So feel free to reach out to the FlexTrack team if you wanna learn more about our reporting output and how you can customize that and enrich that uh, both from a narrative and an informational perspective. So I've just shared with you guys quite a bit. Um, and I wanna call out that uh, if, if you're wanting to get back into some more of this information, the details about the integration between Pintera and FlexTrack, we've partnered with the Pintera team on some really great documentation. So you can head over to docs.flextrack.com to view this joint information. And this details everything from the Pintera platform all the way into the FlexTrack platform of how to leverage this. And you do not have to be a current customer of either Pintera or FlexTrack to access this documentation. We hope that will be helpful for you. So with that, as we talked earlier today, Ali showed you guys a great visual of the cycle and getting to remediation. And I think Ali, you were gonna mention just briefly a little bit more about the idea of getting back into Pintera at this point. Yeah, exactly. So one of uh, another cool feature in uh, Pintera is we can, we can actually rerun a test. So for example, if we know a certain vulnerability finding was remediated, we can rerun a test. We can also schedule tests. So they can be done continuously and periodically. Um, and then we can reevaluate, reassess our security posture. So for example, here in this example, um, an operator reran the test and uh, exported another uh, um, result JSON. Yeah, so what that could look like on the FlexTrack side is again, from Pintera, right? Selecting to export to FlexTrack. Maybe you develop a follow-on report and then having the opportunity to pop back in here and upload in that new file. And just to close this loop, I'll do another quick demo. And ideally at this point, right, we're going to be able to load our findings. But in this example, we'll go back to our log for shell that we started with. And just showing, right, that data isn't in this report. We have completed that cycle uh, from Pantera into FlexTrack, then into your remediation tactic, revalidating in Pantera, and then re-uploading to FlexTrack to validate that we are watching our progress as we progress. So this ends the live portion of our demo. Yeah.